All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. It's been a minute since I've posted a video. Um, I do have some other videos coming starting tomorrow. We're going to go back through the uh, Apostle um, John Eckhart series he's doing. I think he's on part seven right now for his series he's doing. So on, on uh, uh, so I'll, I'll continue to post uh, those on here when I get them uh, for you guys to finish that his series off on that. But um, and I hope you guys are doing well. It is uh, February eighth, two thousand and eighteen, as I do this uh, audio. And I did, uh, as you can see there, I did. People are are uh, liking and and, uh, and and you know doing emojis on the posts I did because I did buy uh, more IQD this morning. Okay, uh, so on February eighth, as I'm recording this, I did buy more IQD as I promised I was going to do on my <laughs> ending of my videos on the main channel. So I don't know why people are surprised by this. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I said no comments and people went ahead and gave comments and I deleted all of those comments um, because this is something I said I was going to do. It took me a little bit longer because I was doing some other things, but I got it done and I'm going to be looking to buy another batch uh, as I as I think I get very, very close um, to, you know, calling the, you know, the action of the government over there. But anyways, let's get into this. Uh, 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 teaching here, and it's going to be uh, why race matters, okay? And you guys are looking at this picture, and race matters a lot, right? You know, race matters a lot because if it didn't matter, we wouldn't be telling lies, okay? We wouldn't be telling lies. If race mattered, we, you know, uh, we we should not be telling lies right we should not be teaching lies and showing lies to people and this is mainly for the children there's a lot of people though adults that don't know uh you know the history of the middle east history of africa history of the western world history of the biblical days history of the pharaohs history of all these people history of christ a lot of people don't know the history of it. So you're allowing the media, the Zionist, sat satanic, Illuminati media to tell you <laughs> the history, right? Because when you don't do your own research, you're allowing them to tell you their history, right? And their history is going to be full of lies because when you run with the devil, when you run with Satan, if you're a part of Satan's kingdom, you hate the truth, right? So, you know, because because Christ is the light and the truth. So if you're against Christ, then you are against the truth, right? Now, it is by order of, you know, by them that they must put the, the truth and you know, in plain sight, and, and 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 tell people the truth, but they hide it right in plain sight. Okay, and that's and and that's where you get into the uh, television programming, and where you see things like whoa, you know, you saw something from five years ago on the on the Simpsons, and then you seeing it happen in real life, you're going wait, wait, what's going on here? Predictive programming is what we call it now. Back then, we didn't know what it was, right? We just in movies. And then all of a sudden they happen in real life and you you scratching your head like I saw that in the I, I saw that in the Will Smith movie or I saw that in Back to the Future. I saw this in the, how do they know in the eighties that this event was gonna happen in the nineties or in the two thousand, right? So so it's called predictive programming. And so they're forced, you know, uh to to tell the truth, but they but they do it in symbols, they do it in colors and symbols and and uh, in codes and stuff like that, right? And so then you got people like me and others who can then go and decode those types of things. Okay, so that's so so if you if you're not running with Christ or if you hate Christ, right? If you hate Yeshua, uh, then then you have no truth in you. So you're going to dictate the stories. And so what they did was they bought up all the media. So that way they get to tell their story of full of lies, right? And this is another example of their lies, right? 
Um, and so it says here, the revealing of a 3D replica of the great Pharaoh, uh, Nefertiti or whatever, how you say that, and, uh, and, the, and on the Today Show, right? And, and somebody was saying the person that was uh, revealing that, re revealing this uh, 3D replica, one that that lady was Egyptian, so she should have said something when they were re revealed this and they saw, saw this, right? When they saw this, did this uh, <laughs> replica of this thing right here, right? And she's Egyptian and she knows the truth, but she kept her mouth shut. And people are saying because the check that she's getting on the Today Show is is uh, really good, so she didn't want to say anything. But when you are a coward. <laughs> okay when you are a coward when you don't stay when you see falseness like this when you when you don't when you see lies you are supposed to speak up against that if you are a coward you're not entering the kingdom of god because god says it clearly in the bible it's a it's a sin to be a coward you are he, there is no cowards in heaven okay you must stand up and 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 uh and rebuke evil in the name of Yeshua, right? In the name of Abba, Father, and the Holy Spirit. So God doesn't like cowards, okay? God wants people to speak about him, speak how great he is, and how beautiful he is, and his son, and, and, and that, that, that went to Calvary for the sins uh, of his chosen people, right? And when you're in his chosen people, are uh, those who accept Yeshua. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's, it's not the, you know, it, it doesn't matter what, what you, what you are. Of course, the chosen people are, are, are the ones that were running with him. And those are the ivory M's Hebrews. And, and those ones that came on the ships. If you read Deuteronomy and they came up, they were put on ships and went around scattered around the world. Okay. Uh, and put into slave enslavements. Those are the chosen people, but those, but the chosen people are also people who accept Yeshua. It doesn't matter if you're Arabic, white or, or Asian or black or whatever the case may be. Okay. There's cause there's white people with, um, chosen blood in them. Right. And there's Asian people with chosen blood. So if you have the chosen Hebrew Ibrian blood, you are chosen, right? So it doesn't so race doesn't play a, that big of a part in it because there's a lot of people uh, that uh, that are white or Asian or 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 you know South American or Spanish, whatever you want to call it, and they have the chosen blood in them, okay, uh, in their DNA in their bloodline, right? So going back to this, right? So let, let let's see what people say, and you can see many people were laughing at this. I mean, they were very angry about it, and some people gave it a thumbs up, but and not that many, right? 400 and something uh, out of, look at that, look at the look, triple the amount of people laughed at it and were disgusted by this. And I'm guaranteeing you, the people that like this look like this, right? The people, let me repeat that, the people who like this and re know that this is false, they liked it because they look like this. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of the people that look like this also gave it the dislike and uh, and the mean and, and laughed at it because they also know the truth. And some of you guys even spoke out about it uh, that that are this this uh, race or this color, and you guys spoke about it and you said, <laughs> "Give me a break." Okay, uh, we <laughs> you know. Um, so look, you can see here in the comment section. Jennifer here says, wow, so wrong. I don't even know if Jennifer is white or black or whatever her race is here. Okay, she's black. Okay. Um, and then you got this guy with the meme. And then you got other people here. They got an Arab lady here. Okay. Um, saying that I don't believe uh, she looked like this, uh, you know, white Caucasian woman. Um, so white people stop playing. Okay. And then this person here has a gifts and uh, gifs and... Uh, <laughs> And then more people are just outraged by it. Even this guy right here, Lily. <laughs> what in the HLL is that? So you got all types of race, all types of people saying, what in the world is that, right? So, um, and then we have somebody here that, uh, and then somebody put the real, basically almost the real picture of, of what it should have looked like. And then you also have uh, this person posting here how it's th this is the real 
uh, um, you know, tomb or uh, carvings of that that pharaoh right right here you can see that this is a completely different than what they the lips are way thinner the nose is different you know uh <laughs> um but and then the shade is different as well right so here's the color and here's the body the body is clearly different as well right so you know and but this is the but when you don't own anything and i'm talking to you colored people when you don't own anything you don't they they have the right right the zionist jews have the right to do whatever they want <laughs> because they own it right they can tell you lies in hollywood which they do through the movies so they'll put out movies you know of egyptians and, and stuff and you everybody's scratching their heads like egyptians aren't this color right and and, and, and here's the thing it's crazy because you got people in America that they will actually believe Hollywood and the, and the Zionist Jews than actually going uh, go to Egypt and actually see the Egypt culture and the ancient Egypt museums and stuff or acts an Egyptian themselves. <laughs> I mean, they will literally not ask an Egyptian or even go and take a trip to Egypt, but they will believe what the Zionists put out in Hollywood over going over an Egyptian or going to Egypt, right? That's how that's how important media is to so many people. Media dictates what you do to so many people. And so this is why the, the Zionists had to own everything. They came up with a plan to own everything the media the fast foods everything because they wanted to be in control of how you think and process so the fact that the fact that they can pull something like this off on the today show and the today show didn't burn down tells you that they have completely manipulated the minds of millions and millions of people and so it's our job to make sure, and the people in the comment section as well that were commenting saying lies and lies and lies, right? Because a normal person will know that Egypt is in Africa and people in Africa in that Egypt area do not look like this, <laughs> okay? Uh, but, but that's the thing. The Zionists are betting that you've never been to Egypt or you don't even care about Egypt, so you're going to believe what we put out. OK, and we're going to make you believe what we put out because we're going to show it over and over and over again. Right. And so it's our job to make sure that, you know, uh, young people and, and older people that don't know because they don't care, know the truth. OK, so that's why I'm doing this video. And that's why a lot of people on social media immediately came out and said, Yo, are you kidding me? And I'm glad to see that all race came out and said it okay and not just to, not because usually it's just black people that come out and go oh man this ain't this ain't right what are y'all doing but all i saw all race come out and say this is this is nonsense okay this has to stop okay so that was good and then we had this post here from yahoo it says that the dna of a ten thousand year old skeleton found in the english cave suggests uh, the oldest known Briton had dark skin and blue eyes. Now, when you come down here, this one, so that was this was they ran a DNA test. I guess they found this skeleton bones or whatever, and they did the DNA and they put some type of picture together for this thing in English. Now, remember, back in England, in, in England, people don't even remember that that um, black. Uh, the colored people were kings and queens <laughs> in England and in and, and Europe. <laughs> people don't even know that. People don't even know that, right? People don't even know that black people, uh, colored people, uh, were, were kings and queens in Africa. <laughs> this is how brainwashed we are in society, okay? People don't even know that black people were were kings and queens of almost the entire world, right? And including Europe, right? And in the dark ages, you see how they say English caves? And you see how they got the word that the name caveman? Because that's where the lighter people, which we call now Caucasian, that's where they were at in the dark ages in Europe. And people don't even realize that. 
People don't even know that, right? People don't even know that type of stuff. In the Dark Ages in Europe, the, the Caucasians lived in the caves. This is why they say uh, found in an English cave, right? Because that's where Caucasians were at in the Dark Ages, right? And you had the Moors. You had the Moors as kings and queens and all these other kings and queens in Europe. And this was before uh, the, the Queen of Britain and them, you know, all that stuff happened, right? Before all that, you know, that you had you had all you had black royalty in Europe, you had black royalty in 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 uh, Russia. This is why when you go to, if you go to Russia and you go to the museums, you're going to see uh, that in in the museums, including uh, you know uh, colored uh, a colored black uh, you know Jesus or Yeshua and stuff like that in the museums, right? It's one of the reasons why also the um. What was his name? Um, the Pope is one of the reason why the Pope and his boys prayed to a black Jesus inside of the Roman the Roman churches. And if you go on Google and search the uh, uh, the priest uh, or the uh, Pope praying to black Jesus, you'll see thousands of pictures of them bowing to black Jesus. They know <laughs> it. Guys and girls, I mean, I don't know what the, else the scientists can do because people are been so brainwashed that even when scientists uh, discover these things, no one cares because the media has been so the media has brainwashed so many people that it doesn't matter anymore. It, it does not matter what scientists it used to matter what scientists used to find. It doesn't matter. The media has done such a great job that it doesn't matter what scientists say anymore, right? It has, doesn't matter. It, it don't care. People don't care if it's if, if it was 140 degrees all year round. They still believe that Christ came out or Christ came came down, and, and, and he was, uh, you know, and Mary gave birth, and they were white people in 140 degree weather. Uh, <laughs> You know, in the Middle East, and they didn't stick out like a sore thumb around everybody else. <laughs> this is what people still believe, okay? And this is why you got people, this is why you got people still posting uh, Cedar Bogier as, as Jesus Christ, <laughs> right? So, I mean, I mean, you can read your Bible, and you can hear the words, you know, uh, uh, wool hair and and and, and uh, darkness and wool hair and 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 stuff like that. And I'm sitting in, and he's in the Middle East. And then you will go ahead and you will think of a blonde hair <laughs> white man from Southern California, right? And not because you don't like black people or anything. It's because you have been psychologically brainwashed by the media <laughs> and by the agenda of the Zionists, Jews, right? Now, why does Cedar Berger draw himself as Jesus Christ? Well, he said that Jesus Christ was ugly, right? And that is true in fact, because Jesus Christ says, I didn't come to be a pretty looking man because if I had come became a pretty looking man like Satan was. Remember, Satan was a was the was the most handsomest man in heaven, right? And that was basically his downfall. But Jesus said, if I had, you know, Yeshua said, if I had come as a pretty looking man, they wouldn't care about what I said. They would only follow me for my looks. So he came as an average looking man, you know, average to, you know, below average or whatever you want to call it, right? So people could um, acknowledge him for his gifts, right? And for his words and not by his looks, right? So so when Cesar Bogier said that he, 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 he drew himself because he was a handsome man. So he drew himself as Christ, Right, because Christ was ugly. That's what he, you know what I mean? And, and so that is true because Christ did not want himself to be beautiful or handsome because it would take away from what he was coming to do.
right? And he needed people to, to follow him, not not because of his pretty you know looks or his handsome looks, but because of who he was, right? The redeemer, the the uh, the, the the man, uh, the God that was going to come and give his life for us for our sins. That's what he was there to do, right? That's what the Holy Spirit had to put in him. And the Holy Spirit said, you are here to give your life for the people, right? <laughs> you know? So if he was beautiful, it would have distracted him. Girls and all this stuff would have been distracting. So he didn't want to look handsome. He didn't want to look beautiful, right? He wanted to come to do his work for God, for his father, right? So Cedric Boger said, I'm not, we're not going to use this image of this, you know, this colored black Yeshua. We're going to use my image. I look better. Okay. And the, and the Roman church ran with it. Okay. Also they ran with it because the skin color would then make sure that they had control of the world. Right. This is one of the reasons why for a long time, China had nothing to do with 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 Christianity because they knew China was like, no, they changed the color of, of, of their of their God. I mean, these people are ruthless. Right. And, and sitting over there in Europe, they, they changed the color of their God. I mean, they, they keep translating their, their the Bible every freaking year like they. So China had wanted nothing to do. With Christianity, right? They banned that thing out of that country, right? Until recent years, when Christianity was starting to. Now we have Chinese people as Christians, right? There's Christians in China now, but before they wasn't because China or China was like these people are these people are banning. I mean, these people are changing the color of their god. I mean, these people are doing all types of craziness in that religion. We don't want no parts of it. Right. They're tra they're they're trans they're retranslating their books. They're taking out the the the, uh, the the books of Enoch and and all of this other books that 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 mean a lot that that will tell you the truth about who your God really is. OK, the Romans took all that stuff out. Right. And they made it their agenda and, and they and they and they made it their agenda to control the world using their skin color, using who they were, right? Using who they were, okay? Not who God was, but who they were, okay? They basically said, we are, God looks like us now, right? That's basically what Caesar Boger did. He drew himself as it and they ran with it and they say, God looks like us now, okay? And so that's what we're dealing with. And then, and then to go on more, with that, what do they do? They buy up, they start, they go to Hollywood and they go to California because it wasn't called Hollywood, it was Hollywood, okay? And because it was witchcraft and stuff going on. And and so they go down there and they buy, they go to, they group together and they buy up everything, studios and stuff like that so they can tell their lies, right? They because So they could tell their lies. That's what they did. If we control the media, we control the minds of the world. So why is it important that race matters? I just said it, right? You have, and because, and because of this, you have children that don't like their skin color. You got children that want to whiten their skin. You got Sammy Sosa, who great, one of the greatest baseball players ever whitening his Sam Sosa you don't have to whiten your skin for nothing this man completely is white whitens his skin why because he is so brainwashed with this type of nonsense this type of lies from the Zionist media he hates himself not because of anything that he did but to himself is because of the media right children are hating children in Africa lightening their skin that's because when they watch or they have any type of internet access they have, they see that black isn't right, but white is. That's brainwashing from the media, right? You're removing the melon in your skin 
that is protecting you from 100 degree weather in Africa. That is a bad, bad decision, okay? And when you do that, they realize quickly, hey, wait a minute, I can't, the, the sun's starting to hurt a little bit here, right? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, right? <laughs> They, 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 they don't realize that the melanin in their skin makes them priceless, okay? But of course, the media has to make you come off that melanin. They want you, they want you to say, they, they want to make it seem like the melanin in your skin uh, is garbage, right? But we know that melanin allows me to stand underneath that sun without no problems, right? It's priceless. And God gave us the melon for a reason, because he knew the sun would be hot, <laughs> okay? Um, so, also, um, libraries. You got the libraries full of false stories, okay? You go to library, and you got false stories after false stories after false stories about uh, slavery and black people. Everything with black people starts with slavery. If there's nothing, um, there's nothing beyond that. There, there's no kings and queens in in, in, in Europe. And there's no kings and queens in Africa. There's no, it's just slavery. It starts with slavery. You guys were slaves, right? <laughs> uh, so you got the media with false lies. You got the Zionist media can't tell the truth because they because they're fallen. A lot of them are fallen. Uh, it could be fallen angels, could be whatever they are, the demons, they, they, they don't want to tell the truth because the truth is not in them. So uh, those who stay quiet and are scared to correct the lies will not enter the kingdom. For our father has said that those are who are cowards shall not bear the kingdom of heaven, right? So we cannot be quiet about this. We cannot be quiet about, if you are going, if you're on social media and you're seeing lies like this and you stay quiet, it's because you're scared. You're, you're scared of what your family is going to tell us think. You're scared of what your friends are going to think. You're scared of what society is going to think about you. That's called, that's being a, that's a coward. Because if you're truly a child of God, you will, you, and you know the truth because you should, because the truth should be in you if you're a child of God. You, you will speak blasphemy about this type of stuff. A lot of you, some of you guys did, or many of you guys stay quiet about stuff like this, you, you know, but, and then you wonder why your, your kid is, is secretly skin, uh, bleaching his skin uh, because he hates himself, or, or your, your child is in depression, uh, getting bullied and stuff like that. It's because you're not speaking up about things like this. You got to tell your children the truth about life, about the world, right? Um, what else is there? This is uh, putting blacks and colored people in poverty categories. Yeah, so they they make it they make it uh they make it an important move to make sure black people are categories as poverty. Spanish people are categories as poverty poverty people. They make it in their agenda in the media to do that in movies and media. They make it their agenda to put black and, and colored people in poverty and in, pov in poor categories, right? Um, marketing to light to lighten skin, right? They, they got commercials to lighten your skin. Uh, you know, people, people um, even Beyonce's fathers came out the other day and said, Beyonce, yes, I, it is true that if Beyonce was, uh, was more darker, she wouldn't have had the opportunities and and the success as she has now because of her lighter skin what that is embarrassing because you know, you're you're saying skin her performances would have been the same but her skin color would have been a little bit darker and she would not have had the success where does that come from that comes from the media that comes from people not giving credit to performances and talent because of skin color, right? So her father, Beyonce's father, came on and said, "Yeah, Beyonce wouldn't be Beyonce if she was a, a shade darker," <laughs> which is embarrassing. It, it's that that's the type of world we live in, where if you're a shade darker, you might not have three a billion dollars right now because you wouldn't have had the opportunity because they wouldn't have want you as the face of 
whatever, right? And even when they made the Beyonce sculpture, they made it a white woman, right? <laughs> they made it a Caucasian woman, and the Beyonce, and they, and the outcry from from every race was crazy on that one. They had to pull that thing out off the market. They had to pull that thing off their museum, and then they made it a shade a light, a darker, right? It still, was still almost looked like a a, a, a Caucasian woman, not Beyonce, right? <laughs> but but the outcry of people was was crazy right and saying that is not beyonce <laughs> that is jennifer lopez <laughs> okay <laughs> and jennifer lopez is probably like hey i'm puerto rican <laughs> okay um what else is there uh pulling um yeah police police pulling black uh, colored people over a hundred times more than they do white people right caucasian people um you know what I mean? I, another another thing like that. Um, there's so many reasons why race matters. is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right? Because you can't even get money. You can't even get loans if you're if you have a black name. If somebody calls a bank and they say, uh, you know, hi, I'm Shaniqua, right? The, the, the person on the other side of the phone already thinks you're poor. Immediately, they think you're poor, right? And immediately they're already they, they already have it in their mind to deny you of a loan. If I call back and I say, Hi, I am I am Jessica Smith, that person's gonna say, Whoa, this person might have some money and this person will probably get a loan from me today, right? <laughs> it's unbelievable, but that's the world we live in. Okay? That's why race matters. Because race matters because uh, you know, the system is the if the system removes you from getting having any opportunity if they believe your color okay also evil people are using race for their own agenda to 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 deceive people and to make it look like uh you know that they are who they are the elites, right? Their their skin color was in Egypt. Their skin, their god is is this color. You know, their everything is this color that is that that is supposed to be royalty is this color. The other colors in the world don't matter, right? That's what the evil people use it for. They control everything, so they're using their skin color and saying nothing. The other skin colors are are beneath us, right? And I'm glad that social media, because of social media and because we, a lot of people know the truth and can easily communicate with people in other countries with an instant, people now are figuring out the truth, okay? People are now are waking up to the truth and that, and people are now outraged. All race of people are now outraged of things like this. So that, that's a good sign. It's a good sign because before they could pull, they could do this and no one had a voice. But because of social media, everybody has a voice to come out and say, this is not, this is false, right? This is completely false. And it's not just, uh, you know, it's not just Spanish people saying it. It's not just black people saying it. It's not just Asian people saying it. But Caucasian people are able to voice their opinion about it now. And everybody, because of social media. So it's good to see that. I was happy to see that. I was happy to see a lot of people step up and say, you know, we can't, we can't do stuff like this. This is embarrassing, right? This is, this is false. Um, and it's good. And I also, and I'm seeing a lot of you guys uh, on social media also talk about um, you know, the truth about a lot of other things as well. You're posting pictures of the museums in Russia and showing the truth about, uh, you know, what what the history uh, was in Europe. You're, you guys, some of you guys are showing the truth about Africa. Some of you guys went to Africa and showed pictures of how beautiful it is and all that media nonsense. You know what I mean? Um, so it's good. It's good to see that because that's what people need to see. People that have never been out of America and they sit there in Little Rock, Arkansas, and, and, and they have their stereotypes, uh, they need to see those type of pictures. They need to see those videos, right, to, to, to get themselves out of the brainwashing. Uh, and that's what it does. It, it, it takes people out of the brainwashing of, of, of what the Zionists are trying to do to the world, right? And it sucks that, they, that these people have owned that own all the fast food restaurants own uh you know the media own everything own hollywood and 
and they're not giving it up anytime soon, right? And so they own it, and uh, and they're going to continue to, to put their agenda out there until Yeshua returns, unfortunately. And uh, it is what we have to deal with. But at least we have the voice now. Uh, as you know, it could they could take it all away in the future, but right now we have the voice to tell the truth. Peace out, everybody. I love you all. Doesn't matter what race you are. Um, and uh, I hope everybody is uh, going to enjoy their weekend and enjoy 2018. And when you see things like this, when you see things that are not true. Please speak up, man. Don't be a coward. We are in the kingdom of God. We must speak the truth, man. And, you know, it puts a smile on God's face, man, when you speak the truth. When you come out and, and blast things that are not real and are false, completely false, uh, it, it pleases God, right? Speaking the truth out about things that are evil or things that are false it's uh it, it pleases our god right it pleases our father it pleases yeshua and the holy spirit and that's what we're here to do we're here this uh, please our we're here to please yeshua please the holy spirit please our father in heaven and please those that are in heaven and our guardian angels that are watching us right we're here to please them we're here to worship uh and please and uh and live righteously and repent quickly for our sins so uh thank you guys for listening and I uh, love you all. And like I said, um, let's make sure that uh, in 2018, <laughs> we stop all of these lies and we force them to put the truth out instead of these lies. Or we'll show, or we'll, you know, and I'm hoping people go out there to the day show and say, if you don't take that thing down and correct it immediately, we're going to shut the today show down, right? <laughs> you know, because, and here's another thing. They wouldn't have get away. They can't get away with this in the Middle East, right? Imagine if they tried to get do this in, in Saudi Arabia. So, Saudi Arabia would, would would have chopped their heads off. <laughs> so so they know that they can get away with this in America because American people have been dumbed down and American people have been brainwashed, right? But they can't get away with this in, in the Middle East. The Middle East would chop their heads off, <laughs> right? They know Americans won't. Americans would just take it and and say, okay, lies, and, and they'll keep it moving, <laughs> right? And that's exactly what we're doing, right? But they couldn't get away with this in the Middle East. They couldn't get away with this in Egypt. They couldn't go to Egypt and do this in Egypt, right? <laughs> they would be burned to death, right? There's consequences for lying, okay? And you can read the Old Testament and know that, <laughs> right? There's consequences for lying and and and, and uh and putting this type of buffoonery out there. God used to punish people. <laughs> and people were punished for their lies in the Old Testament days. I mean, imagine what God, if God was still the God of the Old Testament. I know it's, he's going to come back to that eventually because he's, you know, he's getting tired of all the sin. But man, you can you they would they would they would never dare do this <laughs> if if we were if we were if they we we were back in the Old Testament days, right? So God is God is is being a little bit too lenient in my opinion, but it is what it is. He's God. He does what he wants. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's it. As long as we're putting out, we're, we're correcting the world uh, and we're making sure that the world knows that this is completely false. And uh, thank you guys for listening and thank you guys for, for co commenting on this type of buffoonery and making sure that people that don't know, know the truth. Peace out. Eyes open. Bye.